If you're thinking about moving possibly to Nicaragua, uh, I would change your plans. Uh, Nicaragua is literally a dictatorship now. Uh, in fact, BBC just had a big article where um, uh, the government of basically Ortega uh, expelled Mother Teresa's nuns in the latest crackdown. They were supporting the opposition. And, you know, whenever you, you, uh, you knock the nuns out of the country, you know you've got a pretty solid dictatorship. And uh, the only nice thing about Nicaragua is you can get the passport without having to pass Spanish if you're there and you reside there long enough to do it. The problem is they will make you relinquish your other passports. And I'll tell you something, nothing worse than uh, having a country that your citizenship in uh, that doesn't allow another passport that is headed by dictatorship. <laughs> That's the worst situation you can be in. And you're, you're definitely not going to have any freedom. And uh, my suggestion is I would mark this off your list. It used to be that, I mean, they got a good territorial tax system, but when you got a dictator and you don't have any rule of law, plus the country's real corrupt, when you got a corrupt country on top of having a dictatorship, that's the worst place you can be in. Uh, there's too many other countries you can get your taxes to zero. Avoid this country like the plague. And I'll tell you another country that's getting really bad is Dominican Republic. I'm, I'm going to put another tape on that. If you're thinking about getting residency there, uh, I would tell you to hold off on that. I'm going to be coming out with stuff on that also. Uh, but anyway, um, folks, if you want to learn how to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button, the right of your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically. We've got 700 videos. Uh, that will teach you all these new things and help you save a lot of money before you make an international move. And number two, so I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. Okay, now, uh, BBC came out with um, this article, and they were talking about uh, the nuns from the order founded by Mother Teresa have left Nicaragua after their organization was stripped of its legal status. Now, they were escorted by police to the border and crossed into a neighboring Costa Rica on foot. Their organization, can you believe that? Kicked them out and they're, they're having to walk out. I mean, this is, this is incredible. Uh, their organization is uh, among the latest to be shut down as part of a crackdown on uh, anyone deemed to uh, oppose President uh, Daniel Ortega. Uh, almost very few people even voted there when they had the election because they knew it was so rigged there. But the Catholic Church has been uh, outspoken uh, about human rights abuses in Nicaragua. Uh, let's talk about the, you know, expelling. Uh, local media said that um, 18 nuns from the Missionaries of Charity were driven to the border in a bus escorted by migration officials and police officers. Uh, you wonder how you can find police officers that would do that. It's just incredible. Uh, they can't see the problem that, that this guy's uh, forming there in that country. Uh, the group has been stripped of its legal status on 28th of June by the Nicaraguan parliament, where members of the President Ortega's Sandinista party are in the majority. Now, more people in more places uh, are, are beginning to see the problem that is going on in Nicaragua, and I would tell you, don't establish residency there. Uh, the nuns have been working with the poor in Nicaragua since 1988. Can you ma imagine being in there helping the poor since that length of time and then just kicking them out of the country and making them walk across the border? It's just incredible. Um, and, you know, they've been doing this, uh, again, since 1988, and they ran a children's nursery, a home for abused and abandoned girls, and, uh, and a nursing home. A government department which oversees uh, non-governmental organizations accused it of not meeting its obligations to declare the uh, province of its funds. Now, more than 200 organizations have been shut down in Nicaragua since 2018 for allegedly breaching strict new laws about funding. Now, among those uh, closed down uh, is the renowned Nicaraguan Academy of Language, as well as a medical charity providing surgeries for children and uh, cleft uh, palates. A tension between the government and uh, of Ortega and the Catholic Church has been high ever since uh, clergy uh, sheltered students uh, protecting against or, uh, President Ortega during a wave of anti-government protests in 2018. Um, now, uh, the bishop was angered over Nicaraguan's deaths. In 2019, the outspoken auxiliary bishop of uh, Managua, Silvio uh, Baez, 
left the uh, country after receiving several death threats. Man, this place, I definitely wouldn't want to go here. It's just, uh, it's a hellhole. Uh, and, and, and more recently in March, the government expelled the apostolic uh, nuncio, the uh, Catholic Church's equivalent to ambassador, in a move uh, the Vatican called an unjustified unilateral measure. Uh, President Tego himself has accused the Catholic clergy of being coup uh, mongers and called them devils and cassocks. Now, the 76-year-old is uh, in his fourth consecutive term in office after winning a 2021 presidential election widely denounced as a sham. All of these guys that come in as dictators, they always end up, you know, it, th those elections are never fair. Uh, you know, this happened with uh, Castro. It's happened with uh, every one that I've ever seen. Saddam Hussein. Anyway, folks, uh, you got the point. If you want to learn more on this, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. If you want to get your taxes to leg legally to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, uh, hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen right here and you'll get new videos automatically. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below and I'll look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.